right, it's actually walking to wedding in a pinch. And if you see my last video, you've seen the blue Walmart photo envelope. Yes, you see it. It's right there. Now you're probably thinking, like, Ashley, what does this have to do with wedding? And why am I seeing this blue envelope? Now I'm going to give you guys an honest opinion about Walmart wedding photos invitations. And I say Walmart photos. You go online, you go to the Walmart photo area on the .com, and you type wedding in the search bar. And what will come up is save the dates, wedding invitations, programs, menus, escort cards, banners, and some decor items, guest books, and etc. I'm not talking about going to your regular aisle after picking up the box of chips, the diapers, the car seat, the yogurt milk. No, you actually have to go online or to the kiosk in the store, order them, and they take about an hour to five hours, depending on the design. And if you see like the numbers that the number that said like fourteen ninety five, that's because some of these sets are sold for fourteen ninety five by twenty for twenty five. So always make sure you read the description, proofread your invitations. So let's open up the envelope. Yes, I have it facing down because I don't want you guys seeing my information. Now look, I did a menu. Just for you guys can see, I ordered a few samples of different ones. Just for you guys can get a gist of what they offer. Now with your menu card, I'll say just get one, put it in a photo frame at the end of your buffet. And if you're not doing a buffet, I'll say just do one menu card per table and call it good. Now, if you're having 12 tables, it's 12 menu cards. So this one offers your starter, your main course, and your dessert. And make sure everything is correct. Make sure everything is where it needs to be on this menu card. And they do offer different types of paper. They offer different fonts, different colors, and they even offer you to edit them and add pictures. Now, if you look at the back, I got the simple photo card because I know this is going into a photo frame, but they do offer premium card stock. I mean like 110 on the card stock. So do card stock, make sure it looks nice. I don't like this photos is because I just did this to show you guys what Walmart offers, because us budget brides, we ain't really got the money to be going to all these websites and getting these high-end invitations and menus and stuff. So we gotta do what we gotta do. And Ash is helping you guys out today. Walmart, here we come. Go to Walmart Photos and get your stuff. No, this is not sponsored. Second of all, you're looking like Ashley, why is this blank? I got this blank for two reasons. One, to show you that they have the wedding ceremony information. And the two, just to give you guys a gift, that they actually offer ceremony programs. And this way, you include your name, your groom's name, the wedding ceremony. Your wedding ceremony includes everything that's happening. I left this blank because every ceremony is different. Every wedding is different. And I go more into your ceremony in a couple of days. Again, I just got photo paper. Sorry, but I this is just to uh, give you guys a hint. They do sell thank you cards as well. So this one I got pretty simple. It's just like the gold, pink wording. And it said love and thanks. And I put on it for celebrating our love with us. And this is what you would probably send out after you get back from your honeymoon. Or you can do it at your reception. Yes, that's the trend. People actually write people thank you cards and leave them as place settings. So you can do that as well. And here go your RSVPs. Yes, they do sell them separate as well on Walmart. Now, I like this design because it gives you that like navy blue and ivory, which is hot right now. And my previous video, I went over a little bit of your RSVPs, which is this right here, reply. Then you put your date by April 1st. So you always want to do it at least a month before the wedding date for you to have everybody. And then they put their names and who's incoming. Regrets accepted. 
please select your entree. So this one has beef, chicken, and vegetarian. And this is the detail card I was telling you guys about. So you always, this is a good option because that way it includes everything. This is just how it came on the website. So I just printed it off just like this because I want to give you guys a gist of what Walmart offers. And RSB cards, they can be pricey. And this one right here is only 65 cents for one. And they do come in bulk. So Walmart does this thing on wedding photos. Yes, it's only wedding photos. But most of the invitations, programs, and everything comes in a set of 25. You can go up to 60, 80. The higher you go, the more money you're going to cost. And I think the cheapest one I saw in the 25 set was about $35 for 25 which isn't bad. Now, when it comes to the envelopes, they do give you envelopes. And they also offer the option of putting your return address on the back. So that way, all you have to do is put a stamp on it and your people can send it back. And with this little thing right here, please don't lick these. Your toes going to be raw as crap. Take you a sponge, a glass of water, and seal. I said, so if you're doing your wedding invitations at home and you're still in the month, start in symbol line, please. I got some more envelopes. I just went with the whole set, you guys, because I wanted to give you guys a little bit of hint on where we can save our pennies. Remember, we got to save that budget. What? Well, save the budget for we can splurge later on. Now, I love this one. And I just printed this off just off the website. This is how they had it. This is what the template that they have. None of this information is anybody's information. This is just how it comes. And you're able, with their wedding invitations, you're able to edit all this information. Now, the please join us for the wedding, that stays. Of stays. You get to put in your name, his name. And this is when I was talking about in my previous video about invitations and writing everything out. You see it says half past 2 o'clock in the afternoon. That's what I mean by writing out your date and your time. And this one, it has June 23rd, 2022. And it says the Hall and Garden Landmark. Then it gives you a location. It says dinner and dancing to follow. That's basically telling your reception is following. And this is nice, you guys. You can get in heavy card style. You can change the style. It can be rectangle. It can be curved. So don't sleep on Walmart. No, this video is not sponsored. I'm just a broke person who's trying to help other people on a tight budget. Now, save the dates. This is what I was talking about. Simple. This is a simple save the date. It says true love on August 5th. So you get to edit your date, your font, your colors. We kindly request, so that's basically telling them to save the date. And then I just put Nicole and Matthew. That's the name I've been using. Nobody in general. And I also put on an invitation to follow. I know I didn't mention that in my other video, but yes, you can put invitation to follow on your save the dates. And that just helps people out. I hope this video was helpful to some of you guys. Please like, comment, subscribe, and leave me any suggestions you guys have below. Remember, stay blessed, stay loved. Stay happy. Thank you.